Window 3. Next is Jake, representing Japan. Yujiru Hagi. Here he is. This is the man that so many have uh, come out to see here in Seoul this evening. The great Yuzuru Hanyu, coached by Brian Orson and Tracy Wilson. He's now 25, and he's taken this uh, dramatic step to switch back to his 2018 program, and is skating here to ballad number one in G minor by Chopin. Season's best of 109.6. The great Yuzuru Hanyu at the 2020 Four Continents Championship in Seoul. Well, you could hear a pin drop as he sized up the opening quad salco, and he absolutely nailed it. skating beautifully. Terrific combination there, the quad toe, triple toe loop. And a beautiful triple axel. And the crowd just loving this. He's really turning it on, is Hanyu. What a marvellous programme this has been. From one of the greatest ever to put on a pair of skates. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yuzuru Hanyu, and here they go. With toys flying in all directions. The judge below me's just got hit on the back of the head. Oh, one's just, just landed next to me. I'd better throw this one down as well. There you go. Oh. Well, uh, quite extraordinary to see this uh, amazing reaction to the most wonderful performance. You just could not fault it. Absolutely extraordinary to see the way Hanyu had the audience absolutely in raptures and he has produced the answer to the question, would this programme deliver what he was looking for this season? Nathan Chen has been a thorn in his side and Nathan Chen no doubt will be watching on and seeing this fantastic effort. Of course it's going to lead but how big will the score be? Hanyu of course has the highest score of 110.53 for a short programme which he achieved at the Ross Telecom Cup uh, back in 2018. 
and this may not be at all far away because there was nothing in that program that was at all short of skating perfection. It was absolutely breathtaking. And he's, he's out there shoveling up the Winnie the Pooh, so all the children's charities around Seoul and the hospitals for the children and such are going to benefit greatly from these gifts. And he's doing a bit of overtime. And it is a really extraordinary sight. And while this championship has been uh, set back in a way because of the coronavirus that has kept so many people away, it's so encouraging to see that such a great star of sport, not just of figure skating, but of world sport, his presence can bring people out when others would have stayed uh, safely at home. They wanted to see for themselves, and he has absolutely delivered in spades. Here's a review. Well, sit back and enjoy. He was absolutely in the zone. He was in a world of his own during that program, skating to Chopin. Absolutely wonderful that fantastic technique and the wonderful presentation. Gosh, it really is a privilege to see him skate. Well, there's a sense of anticipation here as the judges complete their deliberations. His best this season, let me just remind you, is 109.6. His personal best is actually the best short programme score we've seen under the new uh, scoring system, 110.53. Nathan Chen produced 110.38 at the Grand Prix final. A wonderful skate. And if Hanyu can go close to his best, then follow it up on... Sunday in the free program, it would really set up something special for the World Championships with the head to head between Hanyu and Chen in Montreal. Well, the wait goes on. They've been taking their time. And you get a sense that uh, maybe, maybe we could be in for a really big score. Out on the ice is uh, Jason Brown warming up. He's been out there a little while now. As we await the uh, scores, they're really taking their time. It hasn't quite got to the proportions of uh, Papadakis and Cizeron in uh, Graz a couple of weeks ago. Whether it's the judges or the scoring system, whether it's a technology thing, I don't know, but we're waiting. It's gone five minutes now. So here we go. Oh, it's 111.82, 111.82. It's a new record for Yuzuru Hanyu. That is the highest score in the short program and he's taken it to new heights and the move to this program has paid off really big dividends and what a message